Hello and welcome to Legacy Explorers, the channel where we explore the fascinating stories and characters of different mythologies from around the world. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most popular and influential mythologies of all time, Norse mythology. Norse mythology features a rich and diverse cast of gods, goddesses, giants, elves, dwarves, dragons, and other mythical creatures who live in nine different realms, each with its own characteristics and inhabitants. The nine realms are connected and supported by Yggdrasil, the world tree, a giant ash tree that stands at the center of the cosmos and has three roots that reach into three of the realms, Asgard, the home of the gods, Jotunheim, the home of the giants, and Niflheim, the home of the dead. The nine realms are Asgard, the home of the gods, also known as the Aesir, who are the main protagonists of Norse mythology. They are powerful and noble beings who rule over the other realms and protect them from the forces of chaos and evil. They live in a magnificent city surrounded by a high wall that has many halls and palaces where the gods dwell and feast. Some of the most famous gods are Odin, the king of the gods and the god of wisdom, war, and poetry, Thor, the god of thunder, lightning, and strength, Loki, the god of mischief, trickery, and fire, and Freya, the goddess of love, beauty, and fertility. The gods have many attributes and symbols, such as Odin's one eye, which he sacrificed for wisdom, Thor's hammer, and Jolnir, which he uses to fight the giants, Loki's shape-shifting ability, which he uses to deceive and manipulate, and Freya's necklace, Brisingamen, which is the most beautiful jewel in the world. The gods also have many allies and enemies, such as the Vanir, another group of gods who are associated with nature, fertility, and magic, the giants, a race of powerful and chaotic beings who are the enemies of the gods and the children of Loki, who are monstrous creatures that will bring about the end of the world. Vanaheim, the home of the Vanir, another group of gods who are associated with nature, fertility, and magic. They are older and more peaceful than the Aesir, and they have a close relationship with the earth and its creatures. They live in a lush and green land, full of forests, fields, and rivers, where they practice their arts and crafts. Some of the most famous Vanir are Frey, the god of prosperity and harvest, and Jord, the god of the sea and the wind, and Skadi, the goddess of winter and hunting. The Vanir have many attributes and symbols, such as Frey's ship, Skidbladnir, which can sail on any sea and fold into a pocket, and Jord's feet, which are always wet from the sea, and Skadi's bow and skis, which she uses to hunt in the mountains. The Vanir also have many allies and enemies, such as the Aesir, with whom they had a long war until they made peace and exchanged hostages, the Elves, who are their friends and neighbors, and the Giants, who are their rivals and foes, Elfheim, the home of the Elves, a race of beautiful and graceful beings who have a close connection with nature and magic. The Elves are divided into two kinds, the Light Elves, who live in the upper part of Elfheim and are friendly to the gods, and the Dark Elves, who live in the lower part of Elfheim and are hostile to the gods. The elves are skilled in various arts and crafts, such as music, poetry, healing, and enchantment. The ruler of Ulfheim is Frey, who received it as a gift from the gods when he was a child. Frey is the patron of the elves, and he often visits them and helps them. The elves also have many allies and enemies, such as the Vanir, who are their friends and relatives, the dwarves, who are their rivals and competitors, and the giants, who are their oppressors and invaders. Midgard, the home of the humans, a race of mortal and intelligent beings who were created by the gods from two pieces of wood. The humans live in a world that is full of dangers and wonders, such as monsters, dragons, and dwarves. The humans have a special bond with Odin, who gave them breath and wisdom, and who often visits them and guides them. The humans also have many allies and enemies, such as the gods, who sometimes help them, sometimes harm them, and sometimes have children with them, the giants, who often attack them and try to destroy them, and the dragons, who hoard treasures and guard secrets. The humans live in various lands and kingdoms, and they have their own culture, history, and legends. Some of the most famous humans are the heroes, who are brave and noble warriors, who go on quests and adventures, and who often have a divine or giant ancestry. Some of the most famous heroes are Sigurd, who killed the dragon Fafnir and won the treasure of the Nibelungs, Beowulf, who killed the monster Grendel and his mother, and Ragnar Lothbrok, who raided England and France and became a king. Jotunheim, the home of the giants, a race of powerful and chaotic beings who are the enemies of the gods. The giants are of various shapes and sizes, some resembling humans, some resembling animals, and some resembling elements. The giants are the descendants of Ymir, the first being who was killed by the gods to create the world, and they hate the gods for killing their ancestor and using his body to create the world. The giants live in a harsh and barren land, full of mountains, rocks, and ice, where they struggle to survive and thrive. Some of the most famous giants are Thrym, the king of the frost giants, who stole Thor's hammer and demanded Freya as his bride in exchange, Jurd, the daughter of the mountain giant Jymir, who married Frey after he wooed her with his servant Skirnir. 
and Angaboda, the mother of Loki's children, who gave birth to the wolf Fenrir, the serpent Jormungand, and the goddess Hel. The giants also have many allies and enemies, such as the gods, who often fight them and try to stop them, the fire giants, who are their cousins and allies, and the dwarves, who are their enemies and slaves, Svartalfheim, the home of the dwarves, a race of small and skilled beings who are masters of crafting and mining. The dwarves live underground, in caves and tunnels, and they make many wonderful and magical items for the gods and the humans, such as Thor's hammer, Amjolnir, which he uses to fight the giants, Odin's spear, Gungnir, which never misses its target, and Frey's ship, Skibladnir, which can sail on any sea and fold into a pocket. The dwarves are also greedy and cunning, and they sometimes trick or betray the gods and the humans for their own benefit. Some of the most famous dwarves are Brock and Itri who made the hammer, the spear, and the ship for the gods, and Vari, who owned the ring and Varanon, which could make gold, and Alberich, who stole the treasure of the Nibelungs from the dragon Fafnir. The dwarves also have many allies and enemies, such as the elves, who are their rivals and competitors, the giants, who are their oppressors and invaders, and the dragons, who are their enemies and thieves, Nidavellir, the home of the dragons, a race of fearsome and greedy beings who hoard treasures and guard secrets. The dragons are the offspring of Nidhogg, the dragon who gnaws at the roots of Yggdrasil and spreads corruption and decay. The dragons live in dark and hidden places, such as caves, mountains, and lakes, where they collect and protect their riches and mysteries. The dragons often clash with the gods and the humans, who seek to steal their treasures or learn their secrets. Some of the most famous dragons are Fafnir, who was originally a dwarf who killed his father and brothers for the treasure of the Nibelungs, and who turned into a dragon after he cursed the ring and Varanon, Jormungand who was originally the son of Loki and Angaboda, and who grew so large that he encircled the world and bit his own tail, and Nidhogg, who was the first and the most evil of the dragons, and who will fly over the battlefield of Ragnarok and devour the corpses of the dead. Helheim, the home of the dead, a realm of cold and darkness where the souls of those who died of old age, sickness, or dishonor go. The ruler of Helheim is Hel, the daughter of Loki and Angaboda, who is half alive and half dead. She has a pale and grim face, and a rotting and bloody body. She is a cruel and merciless goddess, who torments the dead with hunger, thirst, and pain. She lives in a hall called Elgidnir, which means misery, and she has a bed called Kor, which means sick, and a knife called hunger, which is her only food. The only way to escape Helheim is to be reborn, but that is a rare and difficult process that requires the approval of the gods and the Norns, the goddesses of fate. The dead who are not worthy of Valhalla, the Hall of the Slain, or Fensalir, the Hall of the Faithful, are doomed to spend eternity in Helheim unless they are chosen by Odin or Frigg for a special purpose. Muspelheim, the home of the fire, a realm of heat and flame where the fire giants live. The fire giants are the enemies of the gods and the humans, and they want to burn everything to ashes. They live in a land of fire and lava, where everything is hot and bright. The leader of the fire giants is Surtur, the flame giant, who wields a sword that can set the world on fire. Surtur is the oldest and the most powerful of the fire giants, and he is the sworn enemy of Odin and Frey. Surtur is destined to lead the fire giants in the final battle of Ragnarok, where he will face Odin and his warriors, and he will kill Frey, who will have no weapon to fight him. Surtur will then set fire to the world tree Yggdrasil, and the flames will consume everything. These are the nine realms of Norse mythology, and they are the stage for many amazing and epic stories of the gods and their adventures. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.